What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 menu video. Uh, it's 6pm. Um, it is the 4th of the 4th. And is there anything new? Um, so, no. Oh, we can refresh our fuck birthday daily objective. So that's a bit of a win straight away. Is there anything new in milestones? No. Uh, and so, ooh, oh, oh, ha. Oh, oh yes. Uh, I know some of you guys actually saw in the comments. Um, yeah, you guys wanted me to stop looking at Twitter when stuff comes out. Um, I mostly just look j just out of habit when things just pop up on my screen. Um, so foot 13 is still there for one more day. Foot 14, I suppose, is still there. Foot 15 is now there. A, oh, wow. A jumbo gold pack EA. Really? That's poor. 75 chemistry, 9... At least nine golds, ten players. So that I mean, it's easy, but you're essentially trading in nine gold players for a jumbo gold pack, which will contain seven players. Um, and what is it? One rare in that pack. Uh, I don't particularly know if that's good, but what we have got is we have got uh, the flashback Bierbiani, ninety-nine pace, ninety-three dribbling. Ah. Oh. Just give him four star, four star, or five star, three star. Nobody would be upset if he had five star skill moves. Nobody at all. High low work rates, very nice. Five foot ten with ninety nine pace, very nice. Let's have a look. Let's go to traits first. No traits for him. Um, stamina is nice. Strength is nice. Agility and balance is very very nice. Ball control and dribbling is very very nice. Reactions and composure are a little bit low. Uh, his positioning, finishing, and shot power are brilliant, which is obviously very, very good for this game cycle. His pace is 99, but it's not actually 99. It's 90. It's, it's 98, isn't it? It's 99 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. Um, his passing's good. This card, by all accounts, looks decent, so long as it's maximum 284 rated squads. Uh, easily grindable at that stage uh, and very, very useful. It's an 84 and an 85, a small prime and a prime mixed as your return. Now, you don't need any informs, which is obviously quite nice. 80 chemistry on the 84 and 75 on the 85. The Sudamericana grind will obviously just reduce that dramatically. Um, a fair few chem styles you could apply to him. Uh, let's go and have a look. Hopefully, he'll be on uh, Fartbin by now. And let's have a look at what we've got with him. So, new players. Biabiani. Oh, there's a... Uh, oh, Farman. Farman and Wanyama have transferred in-game. That's interesting. Who's Farman transferred to? SK Brand. How could he... Th what? F there's no even football on. I don't understand. Anyway, uh, Biabiani. So he has the average body type. Um, You know... It's a nice big upgrade. 22 shooting, 15 passing... 14 physical, 16 dribbling, and 5 defending. Um, I think a sniper would be best for him because look at those stats. Bang in pace, positioning, finishing, and shot power, high end. 99 agility and balance, 99 dribbling, 96 ball control, good reactions, decent composure, decent stamina. I wouldn't play him anywhere else other than a striker either with high-low work rates. I have a feeling this is going to be the new Adama Traore for those that missed out on him. The new uh, Kent, uh, you know, the, for those that missed out on him. The new Dan James for those that missed out on him. That super sub that you can just bring on and will just be absolutely devastating. I think that's what this Bierbiani is going to be. Um, now, you can put a dead eye on if you want to boost his passing and his finishing, which isn't too bad. Again, you know, like great pace, great shooting. He does have like high tier dribbling already to the point where... Is the little boost in reactions and composure going to be enough? I don't know. Um, Marksman is quite nice. Good physical boost. Great shooting boost. Good dribbling boost. Um, and then outside of that, Hawk. I mean, just a waste, isn't it? Artist. I wouldn't touch. Architect. Meh. Powerhouse. Obviously not. Maestro. No, see, I don't like Maestro. Doesn't touch finishing. Uh, doesn't touch composure. Not uh, Not the one. Engine's okay, but not enough for me. I, I, I absolutely think Sniper on him has got to be, has to be the op, the choice. Uh, I, th I think that's really good. Now, in terms of the value, um, let's have a look at the other players that are available. 
that we can uh, just have a look at. So 184 and 185 rated squad. Ogbonna is an 85, which is 100k. Um, so you're looking at about 90 to 100k. Um, or one segment. And then an 84 rated squad. Going to the live section. Saar has 84s, doesn't he? Or is he two 85s? Let's see, 285s for Saar. I think that's good, 200k. But basically, you're going to be looking at about 150k for... Uh, for this card now comparatively to tradable cards um not necessarily specifically right wingers but just tradable cards coming in at about 100k now obviously when we look at this this well, 150k we don't, we've got to take into consideration liquid versus non-liquid grindable versus uh non-grindable tradable versus untradable um but for players that you could just go out and buy uh, you could buy UCL Riyad Mahrez or UCL Jaden Sancho who are very similar and you know, Sancho's five-star, four-star. Doesn't quite have the work rates. Uh, doesn't quite have the shooting capabilities, but does have, obviously, good stats outside of that. Doesn't have the shot power either. Um, so, uh, you know, that Birbiani, comparable to those. Raheem Sterling, I suppose, in a sense, with, with Birbiani being three-star, three-star, Sterling being four-star, three-star, um, you know, there, there are tradable options out there that you can have instead of that Birbiani. Uh, this Lozano, I think, would probably be the best shout. Uh, he's coming in with five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. Also, basically, this like, isn't it funny? Birbiani has 99 base pace, but 99 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. Lozano has 97 base pace, but 98 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. So they're only one in-game stat different, but they're two face card stats different. How crazy is that? I think like upon and, and again this depends on what you do with your team where you're going with things and stuff but i, I think you might want to grind that beer Bianchi if you're into first owner cards um if you've got a uh a syria squad uh a french player as well uh oh, wait who's what oh wow, he's in Serie b now oh no if you've got a french themed squad he'd be good but you know, if you're doing objectives, he'd be good. But if you're just looking for a super sub, I would probably prefer to pay pay 100k for Lozano. Get maybe all of your coins, maybe more of your more than all of your coins, maybe just a little bit less than your coins back when the time is right when you want to sell, and have a player that has five star skill moves, four star week for over the three three, also has high low work rates and has remarkably similar stats, just not quite as good shot power, but much better reactions and composure, um, and a little bit more stamina. I think uh, oh, that, you know, the reason why I came uh, in at like, I hope it's only 284s or more is because 150k at this stage of the game, EA have EA have two issues, right? EA have two big issues. Issue number one is that there are so many cards on the market and EA have crashed the market so many occasions with these promos and stuff that you can get unbelievable cards for cheap. To the point where um, any players that come out as SBCs have to be comparable, right? By by way of price or whatever it may be. Um, if we look at... Uh, oh, hold on, go by price again. Um, you know, if we look at some of the other cards that we might see down here. So that Lozano is good. Uh, one to watch Pepe. Probably not quite on the on the same wavelength. Uh, I don't think Adama Traore is quite good enough either. Um, Mohamed Salah up there. Again, not quite 99 pace. Um, but not too far off of it. This Cornet card as well. Uh, Five-star weak foot, three-star skill moves for him. Uh, so with a sniper on him, very similar card again. Much better stamina, very similar shooting, very similar dribbling. A little bit slower, but five-star weak foot. Um, and then with Pepe, four-star, three-star. Uh, and then with a sniper on him, uh, you know, again, not quite the shot power, but much better stamina. Remarkably similar dribbling. It, like, the, the issue that EA have is they've created this world... Where no matter what they release as an SBC, there are multiple choices on the tradable market out there. So then it comes to value and price. And what the problem is, is that when this SBC that's going to come in at about 150k uh, is there with an 85 rated and an 84 rated squad, it creates two issues. Because issue number one is if you make it too expensive, it's not worthwhile. And so... People won't do it, keeping fodder cheap and making players like that Lozano or like that Cornet or like Pepe 
more desirable, more valuable, especially if you only keep it with three star skill and with three star weak foot, especially if you only give it 85 stamina. That's why I think when I first saw it and I say, nobody will care. If EA give him five star skill moves or a five star weak foot or four star, four star, boost his stamina up to 95, boost his reactions and composure up to being usable. I don't think people will be like, oh no, this is going to change the game. People will be like, okay, cool. There's another extremely usable card that I can fit into a different team that I enjoy or not. But as it is, you've got a card with great pace, good dribbling in some really good areas, but a few flaws in the card. And so when you're trying to separate people from 150,000 coins, people just don't want to do it. The other problem you've got, the other side of the coin, is that it is so easy to make coins in the game this year and so easy to grind SBCs if you have time. Because of the League SBC system and the Sudamericana SBC system specifically, it's so easy to grind for coins. It's so easy to just achieve coins. There's so many SBCs. There's so there's so much in the game. So many objectives and um, players that you can earn through playing the game that it's not difficult to get high rate stuff. That if you make the SBC too cheap, everybody's gonna have it. I don't personally see a problem with that. Like that. Like I, I think a card like this. If this card was on the market, a Serie B three star three star card with these stats. I don't think he'd be more than 20 or 30k. And so I think EA should be making the SBC 183 rated squad. You know, maybe maybe even an 82 rated squad with an inform. Something along those lines, right? I don't think it should be what's going to come in at 150,000 coins. Um, we're going to see 40k for the France squad and then 90k. So maybe 130,000 coins. Even so, I still think that's exceptionally expensive. And... When we think about what's going on in the world right now, you know, I did the uh, Dear EA video and uh, I, I was hoping that we would get something back in Milestone, something to play for, something to grind for, a reason to play this game. Maybe, you know, a multiplayer mode in Volta or something so you can play with your friends, something back. It, even though I know this is the Fuck Birthday promo, but what's crazy to me is that EA haven't given anything that they weren't already planning to give. The fuck birthday completionist set up, they were already planning to give that out, right? You know, when we go to uh <laughs> when we go to um this section here, this here, the fuck birthday uh, objectives, it was already coming. And I was speaking to like Nick last night about it and and I was think I was saying like, "Oh, I feel like they should just do something. They should give something back to people because they're sitting in the house grinding games." If you're a player, if you're the sort of person that's playing video games right now, you're going to come on, you're going to see that beer Bianchi, and you're just going to leave again. And I can't imagine that EA want that. I, I would thought that they would have wanted people on their game. So I don't know why this section here doesn't get massive boosts, why this section here doesn't get massive boosts, and why the game, the squad building challenges section doesn't get massive boosts. I know they can't really change gameplay on a whim, but everything through the menus, they can and they're choosing not to. And so for me, it's very, very surprising uh, the way EA are treating this game and treating their customer base right now. And that Bia Bianchi, as good a card he is and as good a sub he would be, I think, personally, if he was on the market, he would be twenty to 50,000 coins as a maximum. Um, and I think as an SBC, he, that should be reflected in the price. So coming in at 120, 130, it, this is going to be a contentious one because he has a lot of positives about him. I just think that's a, a gross amount of coins for a card that, an, unless you missed out on Dan James, Adama Traore, or um, uh, Ryan Ken, unless you missed out on that type of player, you don't need this card. You, you don't. You shouldn't be paying for this card. So that's my opinion on today's content, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.